After four units of Botox in my chin, I cannot speak and smile is dragging down. What can help? Help. What can I do after four units of Botox in my chin left me unable to speak or smile? My smile is flat, my bottom lip covers my teeth, and the right side sags down and shows space below my top teeth. My husband said I look freakish, and friends are calling him to ask if I have health issues, a stroke or Bell's palsy. The injection was done eight days ago, and I struggle to speak, which, sadly, is what I do for a living. I went to a surgeon who is sponsored on this website. Any suggestions for improvement? Thank you for your question. You submitted several photos, and you state that you underwent Botox for the chin, and specifically you had four units, and it's resulted in challenges for you in your ability to speak, uh, the way you smile, and the position of your lips, uh, your lower lip relative to your teeth. So you're looking for uh, some guidance as to what to do moving forward. Well, I can certainly give you an opinion as to what I believe is the situation. Uh, I'm a little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and our specialty was one of the first to use Botox, so I've been using Botox for facial rejuvenation since 1993. Now, in terms of what was probably the intent of placement of Botox in the chin, I suspect you were getting an improvement of some chin dimpling. There's a muscle called the mentalis muscle that is associated with this, what's called peau d'orange, or dimpling of the chin. And so, a, a four units, which is a very small amount, is typically done and usually it limits the effect to that muscle. A little bit um, in that same area, just a little bit deeper, um, the, the muscles that actually depress the lip or bring the lip downward are also present. And that's why you, you kind of see in one of your photos one side of the lip coming down further than the other. It it appears that the Botox is affecting more than the intended target muscle. And because of that, you're getting this effect. Now, the question that comes to mind is actually the number of units, which is relatively small. It's a little bit unusual, in, from my experience, to see that amount of effect. If it turns out that this is the number of units, then it just means that this material just diffused very, very easily into the adjacent muscles. Since Botox effects are usually limited to about three to four months, given the number of units used, there's a good chance that this effect will wear off in about a month to six weeks. At least you will have a better appearance by that time. Unfortunately, there's no way to reverse Botox. Sometimes if someone has a, um, an undesirable result um, that causes an imbalance, you can do Botox to affect other muscles to kind of balance it out and create symmetry. I've certainly done that for patients with um, issues with asymmetric upper lip or even lower lip after um, either injectable treatment or um, the use of a neuromodulator like Botox done elsewhere. We try to balance them out so that we can kind of allow them to kind of coast through the next few months and let everything wear off. That being said, for now, I think it's probably better to just wait. I don't think that given the number of units, and even if it was slightly more, it should wear off fast enough um, there is, like I said, there's nothing much else to do in the meantime. So I understand that you speak for a living and ad some adaptation will be necessary to try to get past this. But um, I think it's just going to be a matter of time before you're back to your normal self. And chances are you may want to reconsider doing it um, in the future given what this outcome was. 
So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question. Thank you.